So we thought we'd take a little break from our pumpkins because our fingers are still hurting. They're pretty raw and yeah. dry. Yeah, and we came to Disneyland to check out the Halloween decorations. There's a Mickey pumpkin. I think they win for the pumpkin size. Although the one that we made is almost as big as that one. Let's get our measuring tape out and measure around <laughs> it. Cool, huh, Gina? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. So, hey, just wanted to give you a quick update. The pumpkins that you see behind me uh, have a, another coat, I think it's gonna be the final coat, drying of the thin set mortar. And then we started the facade decks. There's gonna be three of them. Let me show you guys real quick. These are gonna be the three decks that we're making this year for the facade it's going to be a 12 by 16. i'm adding the um, two by fours in here just so you know we try to reuse the what we have this plywood piece you see here was actually the table that we were mixing all the mortar and stuff on we did have to buy two new sheets the two by fours under there are actually discounted um, lumber you can see the purple paint they were actually two by sixes that we ripped down to two by fours um, so just to give you guys an idea we always take advantage of cheap lumber when we can it's 75 percent off so saves quite a bit of money like i said this is a four by eight deck has three quarter inch plywood two by fours I'm using three inch screws pre-drilling on this outside 2x4 and the 2x4s are spaced on two foot centers. You can get away with just doing one in the middle but it's a little saggy in the center here. Kind of like my britches without a belt. Does anyone even use that word anymore? Britches. These decks are very similar to what we did on the haunted house facade. What's nice is that not only does it lift it up off the ground and you can kind of create a nice level playing field for your facade walls it gives you a place to stash extension cords lighting cables airlines for pneumatics that kind of thing um, you can stash all that stuff down below and then also it gives a nice secure place for you to screw your walls down to and then any support jacks and things of that nature and it's just it, it seems to be a really handy tool to make it uh, the facades a lot more safe and secure so if you have the extra time a little bit extra money definitely worth it you should try it uh, again, all of our yards that we've ever had have always been sloped in some way. So it's a nice way to make it level. Not only that, it creates a nice place for us to dance. Woo Looks like Peter Pan's shadow. The Slender Woman. <laughs> hey, you guys, look at this. We're working on a facade. Woo! And there's the Great Train Tunnel, Grave Rock Gulch number two. <laughs> Just kidding. This is to our witch's cottage shack. Yeah, and Gina's thinking that house. The witch is a very weird shape. <laughs> it's like one of the dark crystal guys. <laughs> yeah, so this is what we've got going so far here. We've drew the roof portion right here. So yeah, we just really barely got started. Yeah. But wanted to show you guys a little bit of progress. A lot of the windows are gonna be curved and stuff. So I just wanted to show you guys real quick. I drew out an oval and I'm cutting the edges, corner edges out away from the circle. I'm actually gonna just use those. I'm not using that. And this is what I end up doing. So you'll take that little outside edge and then you'll shoot it into the framing. And then that way when I skin the Luan on there, I can just take a router and go and boom, oval window. Sweet. All right, guys, before the sun goes down real quick, this is what we got done today. We got the front of the facade yes. framed and put up. Well. The top half isn't here. Yeah, but come over here. It goes here. right here. Yeah, but come over here. Pretend that there's a pointy roof right there. This that one. pointy roof. Yeah. Yeah. Look and at that. Now, the roof design on here is this side over here isn't going to be... 
the same as this side. The side that faces the street is going to have like more of like a curve, curve to it. Yeah. So. And let's show them the other side. Sure. Here, <laughs> here's the other side. This side is 16 foot long and mm -hmm. the, um, the front side is going to be 12 foot. And we got a window right there with the little flower box and over here we're going to build a chimney. It's real cool because the flower boxes actually converted a couple shelves that went into Western the Town. Western Town. It was mm -hmm. in the train depot. Yeah. Yeah, always trying to use up what we got. Exactly. There's a reason why we keep this stuff around for years and years. The um, the facade itself, the all the way to the pointy part behind there, that one's going to be, what is it, 16 foot tall? Yeah, I think so. 15 or 16 foot mm -hmm. tall. And then the uh, these walls right here are about 6 foot tall. So yeah. here's the start of our facade. We're working as fast as we can because the days are going down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we'll uh, we'll explain a little bit more in the next one what yep. the design is going to look exactly. like. Because right now it looks kind of bare, but we just wanted to show you what we've been up to. Exactly. So, All right. Thank See you, you so much for watching, guys.